Hello, in front of me I have AGP Tech LW11 smartwatch and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on the watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with a phone via the FitCloud Pro application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the FitCloud Pro application to send the notifications to our watch. So let's open the FitCloud Pro application on the phone that is paired with our watch. In the app, you should see the home page. Now tap on the device icon to open the device page for your LW11 smartwatch. On this page, you should see the option called push notifications. Now tap on it and here we can enable or disable the notifications and also uh, customize them. First, let's enable the <coughs> uh, some type of notifications. We have different types. As you can see, we have call alert, SMS, email, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp and stuff like that. So let's say you want to receive the notifications about the calls from your phone on the watch. So if somebody calls you on your phone, your watch will vibrate and inform you that somebody is calling you. You can do it by tapping on the switch next to call alert. And as you can see, we don't have required permissions allowed for the uh, for this feature to work. So we need to tap on OK and allow the required permissions like this. <laughs> next, we can enable, for example, SMS. And again, we need to allow the required permission email. And as you can see, to push third party application messages. So for example, email, Facebook and stuff like that, we need to allow the notification access. So tap on the confirm button. This will redirect you to the notification access page. On this phone, it's called device and app notifications. Um, on stock Android, it will be called, uh, I don't remember, notification access, I believe, but it could be called something different. Basically, what we need to do is to find the FitCloud Pro application on the list right here tap on it and make sure that the allow notification access option is flicked on. So flick on the switch, tap on allow. And once it says allowed, we can go back to the application. And now we can enable the notification for the apps, as you can see. If you want to enable the notification for the app that is not on this list, as you can see, you have Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Skype and stuff like that. You can tap on more reminders, reminders rather and it will open the list of applications on your phone and you can find the app you want on the list, enable it and then go back like this. And once you're done customizing your settings for the notifications, you should be able to receive them on your watch. So I'm going to send myself a message on Discord. As you can see, we got our notification on our phone and also on our watch. We can read it right here. We can tap on it. We can remove it. And we can also check the new messages by waking up the screen on our watch and swiping up from the bottom of the screen like this. OK, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.